I stream on Twitch at 8 p.m. Monday through Friday. Link in the description. 3K, boys. <laughs> He's coming, West Main. Great. <laughs>. Uh, dudes, welcome to another Operator How To. Today we're going to be taking a look at Team Rainbow's resident hostage, I mean building destroyer, Fuse. Fuse is one of only two three-armored attackers with a fully automatic primary weapon, the other being Gridlock. Gridlock may enjoy a healthy amount of usage in competitive play, but Fuse has had a rough time since the game's release. I'll try my best to explain why, without getting too sweaty, because that's not why most of you were here. Most of you play Fuse because he's fun to play. Fuse's gadget sends out five hockey pucks from right to left. This is great information for strategic Fuse play, or about as strategic as you can get with this guy anyway. Fuse gets three charges of the whammy kablammy. What's this explosive device? The whammy kablammy! <laughs> the hockey pucks explode and deal tons of damage. Fuse is not a subtle operator. None of the Russian operators are particularly subtle, actually. We prioritize safety first. Nobody gets left behind. We are highly mobile and ready to go at any time. We bring just enough gear to get the job done. You run into this, it fucking explodes! The cluster charge can be mounted through any soft floor or window and serves primarily as a crowd control gadget. With the introduction of the new shrapnel system, Fuse also has a lot more flexibility in terms of where he can use his gadget. Explosions are now capable of transmitting in part through soft walls. So if Fuse sends his charges through a window to a soft floor below, the explosions can actually hit opponents in the room below that floor. Or teammates. You can hit teammates too. Ah, uh, okay, I'm bad at drums. I'm gonna be Legion on Lambo door. Legion serious? might be. Oh, that oh or Frost. Shrapnel! Shrapnel! Oh. This isn't as effective as just deploying it on the floor above directly, but it is a decent trick to get a little bit of crowd control without exposing yourself too much. And that's really the only main issue with Fuse's gadget. Fuse's main problem with the gadget is that he telegraphs the hell out of it. He might as well send a text message to everyone in the other team that he's about to pop it off. It makes a very distinct sound cue unique to the gadget's deployment, as in, it's only a sound that Fuse's gadget makes. Smart players will keep an extra cluster charge for post-plant to make it a little bit more difficult to destroy the diffuser. But that's boring, and doesn't make for good content unless it works. So here at the Gregor Gaming Experience, we prefer to use all of them in a room, and maybe get a kill, and then get mad when we don't get any kills. It's not necessarily that Fuse's gadget is bad, it's a little bit of that, and also other operators tend to do what Fuse does a little bit better than he can. If we really need vertical control that bad, we can bring a sledge or a buck. If we need to clear a guy out of a tight spot, we can throw a couple flashbangs to burn the ADS, and then a frag grenade. We can also throw the frag grenade wherever we want, whereas Fuse's gadget is set in a fixed pattern. When he is brought in high elo, his role is more of a support than an entry frag. For one, he's slow. Evaluating Fuse's ability to swing on an enemy and get a frag is like evaluating a sumo wrestler's ability to do the 40 meter dash. And it's unfortunate for him because he has what's arguably the best assault rifle in the game. I'm behind trash can. On main, on main. Last door. Second oh, shit. With the clutch, bro. It has just a little bit more recoil than the C7E, so I think a case can be made for both of these guns, maybe comparing like an AK M4A1S kind of situation. But it has very high DPS, only Twitch's F2 is faster, and now the F2 has a lot of recoil. The AK-12 is a lot easier to use. It has a 30 round mag, it can be equipped with an ACOG, any close range sights, foregrip, angled grip. If I could put this gun on every class, I would. It's just that good. Fuse's pick rate isn't that high. In low elo, he's picked because of the idea of getting a potential free kill with his cluster charge. In high elo, he's picked because of his AK-12. My ult included you guys. Woo, baby! That's not to say that Fuse is completely useless, and it wouldn't make sense for me to do an operator how-to just talking about all the problems that an operator has. Because Fuse is just this close to being really, really good. The situation in which Fuse's gadget shines the most is when he's clearing out absolutely everything that a room has in it for his buddies. Fuse's gadget does everything that a frag grenade does. It blows up maestro cameras, it blows up castle barricades, it blows up soft floors, it blows up goo mines, it blows up barbed wire, bulletproof cameras, frost mats. He can actually do it from safety unlike Sledge who has to go up with a sledgehammer and hit it. You'll be surprised how many gadgets you destroy without even thinking about it. I think a solution to make Fuse just a little bit more viable would be the ability to yeet his cluster charge from a distance, kind of like how Wamaya throws his frisbees, to make it not so much of a killing machine you can nerf the damage, or maybe reduce the amount of pucks that it sends out. Or maybe we don't really have to do anything to them. Maybe it's fine for some operators to just be the way they are. 
and I don't know if I want to buff Fuse in a world with Yingzilla. One thing that happened to us during stream, we had to deal with a Pulse who was playing the same spot quite often. Whereas we could have used a Buck or a Sledge or somebody with Breaching Charges to get him through the floor, I managed to solve the problem with a Cluster Charge instead. I'm pushing that, dude. I got the Pulse. I got the Pulse. I got the Pulse below. To your right. Last was Bandit. He was last seen downstairs. He might be master. No, he's he's. Shot me stairs. You fall. You fall. Yo, oh. Chad, it worked. <laughs> Fuse is a pulse counter. Fuse gets access to the riot shield. Fuse also gets access to the PK machine gun with a giant magazine and a low rate of fire without too much recoil, which is okay. Except for the whole low rate of fire thing. It's kind of lame. 15 seconds remaining. Yeah, oh, no! More importantly, he gets the AK-12. And that's all you need to know about Fuse. Thanks for watching. Yes! Are you going for the front? Oh, that click, Greg! Oi! Nice front there, Will. The yellow is dead above. Let's go for it. Let's go and get your home now. Hey, Kevin! Come on, you two! Yo! Okay, I'm not gonna report it. 26 seconds. Let's go. And he gets the best handgun in the game. Fuse is a simple kind of operator. A working person's kind of operator. The operator for the guy who doesn't play Siege eight hours a day. The operator for the guy who just wants a good gun and not much else. And maybe an occasional explodey bang bang. And I think that's okay. I'd like to see a bit more done to his gadget, but as it stands, if you're creative with the timing of it and strategic usage about where you place it, you can use it effectively as a utility destruction device or something to cut off rotates with. I bring Fuse on bomb sites where I know they're going to be playing on the first floor. Think Consulate Garage, what I'm doing here on Border and Customs. Fuse had stun grenades at one point and then they got swapped out for smoke grenades, but I like to use breaching charges to open up sight lines for my teammates and open up holes to the floor. I play like a support, I flank watch, and I occasionally go for the pick if I need to. But I don't really do a lot of entry fragging because as a three armor, that's pretty difficult for me to do. Clear out utility for your teammates, hold flanks, go for the pick when you need to, and that's all you need to know about Fuse. You're good, you're good to come up. If this video raised your IQ, be sure to share it with a friend to also raise theirs and subscribe. Check out my Twitch channel, link in the description. I stream Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until then, thanks for watching. Deuces. Face checking. Hi, Mozzie. Hey, Warden. <laughs>